Okay. <laughs> we are happy. You extremely guys, happy. Extremely happy. You guys know how our first two days went, but that was only part of it that you seen because right after we recorded that video, another incident occurred. Yes. Which got us stuck there for a day. But before we get to that, let's back it up. Now, right now, we, we, <laughs> we trust me, we are happy that vacation is going just like we wanted to go, and we know there's going to be some hiccups, so we thank you all who commented on that video. Um, we still got to go back and answer some of the comments. But let's back up. Like we said, we got started Old Dog 30 in the morning. All right, everybody, today is day one, just pulling out. Wow, long awaited, epic six months to a year vacation. Had a good time. Right. We were riding along, everything was going good. And then, great. then bam, <laughs> what you're about to see is what happened. And our guardian angel saved us all because of YouTube, right? Right. Boots and Jeans Riders. Nice. Who is that? That's her. No wings ain't supposed to break down. No, we're not supposed to break down. I was driving by and I saw this trailer and I saw blue. <laughs> We're riding them back there like this. But this is just how easy it is to take off the rear tire. On the gull wings. Yeah. Take it off just like a car tire. Hi, right, just Richard Boots and Jeans Riders. Say your name. Ron Beavers. And how did you find us just now? Just going down 99 and I saw the trailer and I saw blue and I knew who it was. <laughs> and that's real real love for the human mankind and I'm glad he knew who we were. Woo! So we couldn't find a hole, we tried. It was not, actually it was a gouge. Gouge, yeah, yeah. And Kate got a hold of a dealer. Go and bring the tie in this as long as we get it in before 11 o'clock, they'll put it on. We should be back on the road. Continuing our vacation. We have, I think, um, maybe 300 miles left before we stop for the night. Lost on the valley. Uh, anyway. About 350. It would be a good time for you to check your brake. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Rich can still get it up. I couldn't resist that. Oh, I could not resist that. It was there for you to take it. I mean, there was a fish in the barrel. I had to shoot him. Exactly. <laughs> that was. And that's a good thing, though. <laughs> now, after watching that, you know, you saw the video of what we, we was talking about how bad the day was going. Of course, it was 111. I think it got up to 113, 113 degrees that yes. day. And we put on our, our cooling vest. So I'm going to show you that part where I was just talking about the cooling vest. We don't ring them out or anything, just throw them on. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> and it's gonna bring your core temperature, keep it cool, and we can ride another 100 miles. Like a lot of people say, it only lasts about 45 minutes to an hour. What do you do when you feel it start drying out? You got your jacket over it, so the wind won't hit it, and then you squeeze it while your jacket over it, and then that water that's embedded in there will come out and keep you really, really cool. This is why you always wear jackets in the heat. That way it make you sweat. And if you didn't have a cooling vest, all you have to do is open a jacket up and let that air hit you just like a cooling vest, except it won't last that long. Make sure that you in invest in one of these. Please invest in one. It really, really helps. I know some people say, no, it only worked for 30 minutes, but that's 30 minutes of help. Yes. That you I may not have agree. if you don't have one on. But for us, it works wonders for us. Yes. So they went on right after we filmed that, we were in McDonald's and then something else occurred <laughs> that could have been tragedy. I mean, it really could have been tragedy where cake actually could have gotten seriously injured or killed, but everything turned out right. And, and we're here to tell the story. 
Exactly. That's the that's the main thing. And with that, you want to start it off and tell and, them. And we thought <laughs> it was going to get violent. With you're going to see what happened. Basically, she got. Yes. I got rear-ended. Yes. So we're going to show From, that clip. Well, we don't have the clip of her getting rear-ended, but no. we're going to show the results after. In the truck, we was at the stop sign, waiting to turn to continue on with our vacation to head out to New Mexico. All of a sudden, yes. Bam! Look what you done. Hey, can I help you? you pick it up? No, you need to find out. We need some fucking information. That's what we need. Man, cool, man. I, I apologize. I told you, man. Are you hurt? You're not hurt. I'm glad that you're not hurt. We don't know that. You just ran into a back of somebody. Fuck you, man. Yeah, I did. Information, driver license, yeah, all that I stuff. Got, I got right Hold it, Kate. Like, oh, I used some words. I'm not going to repeat them on on camera. Yeah, you did. But, <laughs> you know, I, I did say some words, and I, my bike fell. I was able to get off the bike. I didn't hit the ground. That was a good thing. Yes. So I just, well, because I was stopped, so I already had one foot down and the other one on the brakes. And if you guys seen the back of my bike, it's lit up. So apparently the guy was not paying attention, and he had this 1980 or 1970 something Ford pickup truck, and just bam me from behind. Yeah, um, and then it got to the point where, and you'll see it all in there. And he was starting to be yeah. very, very evasive, and we thought we was going to go to blows because it seemed like he was taking a defensive stand. So I had cake hold my stuff and move out the way. I mean, yeah, it was. It went, actually the, went well. It I went well. The first, when, the first thing he said after he hit me, he did ask if I was okay. Yes. And he wanted to move. Let's move the bikes and everything. I'm not moving my bike. I need to see what's going on with it before I move it. What he wanted is so, just to. Move the bike, look at the damage, and leave. And leave, yeah. And they're going to see it. You're going to see then, it in the video. You know, he said, well, she's okay. There's nothing wrong with her bike. And I'm like, dude, my, you, we'll show you the damage. One of my lights is cracked, my whole back end at the top, which some people take as a trunk. That's cracked. But I can still ride it, you know. So I, he was evasive about giving me his insurance. He showed me his driver's license. I said, okay, well, that's fine. Well, the thing fine. is, he was... To me, he just wanted to leave, yeah. and we didn't believe in that he actually had insurance. Fortunately, he was telling the truth, but his problem was he didn't want to be around the police. Right. And so, I kept telling him, it's an accident. It's not a crime. If you just hit somebody and leave, then it becomes a crime. And he wanted right. to leave in police came. He, was, he just anything. kept telling me, I promise you, I promise you, I have insurance, I have insurance. I said, okay, but it's not in this phone. Okay, well, which insurance do you have? And he told me, I said, well, let's call him right now. We can clear this up. Just let me know that that you have insurance. We can, well, let me just help you pick your bike up and we can move over there. I'm in the middle of the road. And I'm like, dude. Pulling over where? I will. Why? I'm in the middle of the road, dude. They could ass around. Mm -hmm. you know my don't you? No, I don't have your insurance. It's on my plate. I don't know how that works. I'll, I'll figure it out. You well, got your flashers Another on. thing he was saying at the beginning was, he, well, she's okay. She's not hurt. I'm like, well, you don't know that. Right. You don't know that. A week later, something could be wrong. But we just, we was blessed and thank God that everything turned out great. Oh, well, not great that day. But aside from what you just seen, here's what happened day three. Well, first, day two, we had to, we got stuck in. Day two, when the guy came over, because he was a bike rider. Yes. And he didn't see the accident, but he saw things was going starting on. to escalate. So he pulled over and he said, I'm going to call 911. You've been hit from behind. Yes, I'm calling. So he called 911. That's when the guy was like, oh, I'm not staying here to talk to the police. I'm leaving. Okay, day number two, caught in the storm, went from worse to bad to back to worse. Look at Cake Bike. Just got rear-ended. Got information from the guy, but he ran when he was he was trying to get the police to make to verify that he has a insurance to take care of a bike. A little damage on the end. Okay. Right there. And as we're here, we are in Flagstaff, Arizona. As we're here, I'm talking about the epitome of human compassion. Somebody didn't see the accident, but he see what was going on. He, it's actually for assist. And the greatest thing about this, I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. And the greatest thing is about it is 
We have the same name. This is Rich. Um, no, no not yet. I'm just waiting for the police to come. That's Thank Rich. you. He stopped by to help us and assisted us with, because my phone wasn't going through for us with the, the police. And I know most of the time when you have stuff like this, you have to move it out the way so traffic can pass through. We want them to make, just make an incident report so she can get her bike fixed if this guy actually has insurance because once the mentioned police, he took off. He told like, me, well, I don't, want, I don't want the police to see what's in my truck. And I'm like, right. you're not going to go in your truck. They need to get your license plates, information for an incident report, and then we'll let the insurance company handle it. Right. So, that's so how you know, he just kept on it, and his facial expression was like, I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. He kept looking to the side like, I'm just going to take off. And then when, he and, when, when me and him got into it, when I was about to get really irate, and, and I started taking defensive posture because it looked like he was doing something, and then that's right. when the guy said he's going to call 911 because originally he called a regular number to get the officers come out here and do it. Anyway, anyway, let's get to how we got here today. Next, this is how I was... Four this day, is day, day, day four. four. But day three was fantastic, people. We're going to bring well, you some of the, say, the wait, video. Wait, wait, back up until day two. What? After I got hit and we were on our way, it was like, okay, well, we're not going to make it to the campsite. Yes. We needed to get a room. So yes. we rode further. We're still in Arizona because that happened in Flagstaff. So we drove another, like, 100 miles. About 110 miles. About that. And get to the, get to the hotel. The power <laughs> goes out. <laughs> Everybody, we just checked in. Everybody out having a good time. Nighttime. Came. We didn't even we didn't even have our luggage up in the room yet. No, I just was pulling the bikes around. The lights went out, and I'm like, you <laughs> got to be kidding me. It's like this is okay. Not I'm good. just gonna go to sleep. I'm. I don't even want to talk. I don't what? want to eat or nothing. I won't go to sleep. And for everybody who told us that it's gonna get better, we definitely appreciate that because we can't see it getting no worse. We we, we pray anyway. <laughs> But yeah, that, that was kind of strange with the light just going out. So we got up the next right. morning, and we know we was gonna have a short ride. I think we had 100 and, no, no, 220 miles to get to where we are now. But back to, back up, when I told our children that I was rear-ended, I said, and I thought I would have to bail your daddy yeah, out of jail. Yeah, we was about to go at it. One of them said, I am my daddy's daughter because you're gonna have to bail me out too. I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, I said, yeah, I said, okay, all right, but mommy is okay. She said, well, I'm glad you're okay, but they're going to have to bail me out, too. Who hit you? Oh, she was serious. Yes, she was. She it's was our serious. Oldest. She, the she oldest had, one. She's a firecracker. Me. Yes. Or yes. atom bomb or a nuclear blast, she's, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, she's so, no joke, but anyway. Let's, let's continue with the positive. Yeah, let's go on. Because we, we get on the road, beautiful weather, nice and cool and calm. We're just riding. And we know we actually didn't have another place to stay. We know we was going to a free campground, which is here. Free, 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 free. And but we can't tell them where we're at. Yeah, the locals don't want us to, to, to tell about it. This is our third time camping here? Third, fourth time. No, yes. fourth time visiting, third time camping. Yes. And we're going to tell you what it is. But look at the background. No, we're not. Patches is set up over there. We got video that we're going to do in another video of oh, seven wait. patches we're and all that stuff. We're camping and we're facing, y'all watch our back for black bears, okay? <laughs> I know. So Rich can run. Yeah, oh, yeah, I ain't going <laughs> to run. I'm faster than you. I'm not going to stay there. <laughs> you stay there. I'll tell a story. <laughs> so, so, and it's this beautiful campground. Uh, we, we, when we first been, got here before, we didn't actually believe it was a free campground. So yeah, we actually had to free. go to the, the monument, we National Park System at El Moro National Monument. Why you told them? Yeah, come on, people need to know. You know we're going to do a whole thing on campground anyway later. And the best kept we had to go speaking. ask, is that actually free? That was the first time we came here, not, yes. not this time. And they were like, yes. We're like, okay, next time we come here, we're going to go camping here. So we never we forgotten about it. Food. Here's the thing about it. It is 60 miles from Gallup, 40, 40 miles. from Grants. Grants. So a lot of people don't come here. And we'll talk about the campground, what, what you can expect at this yeah, particular campground. Yeah, that'll be another video. In a different video. Yeah. We just want to let everybody know that we are doing good now. We're okay. And we're going to take a hike at the National Monument so you can see this. This is one place that we fell in love with four years ago, three years ago. I don't remember, 2016, 17. Anyway. Yes, whenever it was. And every time we're in New Mexico, we always try to at least pay the visit, even though we may not stay. So that's what we are up to now. Right. So the next couple of videos are going to be some exciting things. We're going to keep putting them up as we can put them up because obviously do a lot of camping 
not necessarily established campgrounds like this, so we never have a lot of Wi-Fi, no connections to upload or answer no, comments. No, we save our data for emergencies, so. Well, if we don't have it, it don't matter. <laughs> so, so we to today we're going to hit the mountain. We're going to bring you that in another video. We thank you guys for all your, your great comments. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you for watching this. We know this was a little long. If you made it this far, we know we, this, this long. And make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're going to put them up, start putting them up rapidly. And right. hopefully we can get some Instagram stuff to let you guys know where we are going to be next. And it's always going to be like a day behind. If you're going to stop for a location for maybe three or four days, then we'll let people know because we definitely want to meet up with people right. just like our guardian angel. If he wouldn't have seen YouTube, or if he wouldn't have been a YouTuber, well, the good thing is he was a biker anyway, so he was going to stop anyway. Him and his wife rides right. Indian motorcycles. His name is Ron. I'll just leave it like that. I won't put his whole name. I think he said it on the video anyway. Yeah, he's on the video. And be alert, people. Pay attention to what you're doing. Otherwise, this is what this is what hap what would happen to you. Yeah, I was upset when it happened, but I'm a, I'm good now. You know, the guy did send his apologies, but people in cars look twice for motorcycles. Pay attention to your surroundings, and also motorcyclists, you do the same thing. All right, from Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Cake, and I'm Rich, and, and we, we out. out. Peace. Peace.